Hey guys, how's it going? This is Andrew. I'm at the... Feel Raven. Feel Raven, say that five times fast. I'm actually just checking out James Knives. It's a boutique brand that I've never seen in real life. So here's their whole line. Uh, do you know the model names? Uh, so that one should be, um, I know for sure the chapter, Folsom. And Folsom then, chapter and... I'm spacing on that one. I'm forgetting the name of this one county. as well. The county. The county. Uh, and they're all running D2 steel. Steel okay, yes. so I just thought you might be interested in seeing them side by side. I haven't seen a lot of videos on this brand, but I like the design. Uh, I think that they're doing something unique, and I thought I would just share with you. Um, here, I'm going to just slide these over, and I'm going to ask the uh, guy here to hold the camera for me like this. Thank you. Yeah, just don't cover up the camera. You're awesome. Okay, and so then this is what uh, the, what's the name of this one again? Uh, Shipton County. The county uh, looks like it doesn't uh, have... Um, uh, any kind of lock here. It looks like it's a half stop though. Not a very strong half stop, but not bad. Um, kind of um, a stubby drop point there. D2 steel and uh, stainless steel liners here. A little lanyard hole. And then this is the uh, chapter. Uh, this, is that right? This is a chapter? Yeah, I thought yes. it was. This one is the version with the uh, Damascus steel. And as you can see, it flicks open really nice. Uh, this was their first design, and I actually think this is still the one to get. Uh, you can tell it's going to break in nicely. Um, as you can see, centering is not perfect, but not bad, and probably something you can play with. It looks like this just has washers. Uh, very clean, modern knife. And then uh, this is the Folsom, their largest version. Uh, I'd say that this one's maybe the most ubiquitous. It's got wood scales here, and it's got a kind of like a spidey hole. Not quite as ergonomic, and it, it does open just fine. Uh, here you can get a look at the um, liner lock here. Close it back up. And this one does look like it has better centering. So anyway, a real quick video of uh, three James knives. Um, thought you might enjoy it. Hey, Triple Fivers, I'm just getting back, and I thought it might be interesting for me to just give my final thoughts and comments after checking out some of those uh, James brand Knives. Uh, basically, they uh, are interesting designs. I like the variety that you get even in just those three models. Um, I also, um, in particular, think that the chapter knife, their original, uh, really is a unique offering on the market. Uh, one thing that definitely concerned me uh, and would cause me to probably not want to order one of those lines online was just the uh, obvious uh, quality control issues that I observed when I was taking an initial look at them. I mean, in a store, with everything going on, it's if you can notice things like a slip joint having a bad half stop or a, um, a knife not being centered when it's closed, um, or even, you know, uh, a hole... Uh, and uh, the full-size James Knife not really being the best design. Uh, that's all the kind of thing that I think that you would do well to look at those knives real closely in person uh, and make sure that you're comfortable with those either design or uh, QC defects before you would make a purchase. So, I don't know. I'm kind of still thinking maybe I'd want to get a James Chapter Knife, uh, one that doesn't have uh, some of the centering problems that I observed and see what it's like to carry. Uh, the other two knives didn't really interest me that much. But um, anyway, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Uh, maybe these knives would be a good alternative to a guy who has a lot of Benchmades or a lot of spider codes and is just looking for something different. Uh, they're definitely all right in the um, ideal sweet spot range for everyday carry knives. And um, they're definitely uh, stylish as well. So... I, I don't dislike them. Uh, I don't recommend them uh, unequivocally, but uh, I do think they're interesting, and I thought you would enjoy that. Uh, let me know what you think down below, and I'd be happy to hear about it. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed this kind of old-school store visit type of uh, content. And also, uh, make sure to hit subscribe if you're new here. All right, thanks a lot. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll be working on a whiskey video soon. Let me know if you want to have me review Arbeg Perpetuum or Highland Park 18 for my next whiskey review, which will come out maybe in the next month or so. Thanks a lot.